What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about Albedo. Now, the reason why we're going to be talking about Albedo is because a lot of people have been asking me about his build and everything like that, and I know a lot of the time, I usually just say, oh well, I need a battery for Zhongli, so I take Albedo, blah blah blah. But, he's actually a very, very good character. Now, a lot of people don't like him because of how he works. And what I mean by that is, if you look at his E ability, his E ability, whenever you drop the flower, it scales normally. But the transient blossom damage, which is like the AoE that procs whenever you hit an enemy with like an auto attack or something, that procs, but that's 200% of his defense. Well, it scales whenever you level it up. But anyways, it's, it's based off his defense percent. So a lot of people don't like him because... You kind of have to choose between, oh, well, do I want to build defense or do I want to build attack or whatever the case may be. But that's not necessarily true. And the reason why is because, yes, his E scales off of defense. And that's primarily the reason you're going to be using him. Unless you have him like C6 or something. And then you can, you know, it gets a little bit different. But crit damage actually scales on both his E ability and his ultimate ability. And if you have pretty good substats and an, um, a pretty decent weapon, you can make all of that work. So, we're going to be getting into his build and everything like that. And then I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about how he works. So, starting out, um, obviously level 90. As you can see in my stats, I have 1,753 attack. And then I have 1,934 defense. Now, the only reason why my attack is so high is because of my weapon, and I'll talk about weapons in a little bit. Looking at the substat, 70% and then 150. Uh, really, really good. 150 energy recharge, and then obviously geo damage. Now, before you leave the video, because you say, oh, well, he has an R5 five-star weapon. I didn't even used to use this weapon. I only use this weapon because I actually pulled five of these whenever I was summoning for, you know, Primordial Jade. And it's like, I didn't, I'm not going to just not use the weapon. It's just not how it is. Now, the weapon I used to use on him was Harbinger of Dawn, which pretty much does the same thing. Gives you good crit damage, and it gives you 28% crit rate. And how Albedo works is you're going to, you know, bring him out, you're going to drop his E, and then you're going to switch off of him. So he's always going to be above that 90% threshold. So you're not going to be really worried about him you know, taking damage. Not to mention, if you're running him with Zhang Li, he's going to be shielded, so you're not taking damage anyway. So, this is probably his best in slot for support, simply because, well, not best in slot for support, but um, best free-to-play option in slot for support, I guess you could say. Uh, because, obviously, you can use four-star weapon. Well, I don't think there's any four-star weapon that gives crit rate crit damage. So, Four-star weapons are out of it, but, you know, there's five-star weapons that give you crit rate, um, especially with, you know, this one giving 44%. But, yeah, so this is the weapon that uh, most people run on him, unless they have, like, five-star weapons and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I ran this on him for, a pro I want to say, about a month or two, uh, and then uh, I ended up getting, you know, Zhao, the, the Primordial Jade cutter and then that's whenever i switched off so you can run that and then if you look at his artifacts the, now albedo might just be one of my best built characters off artifacts and the reason why i say that is because um he rolled a lot and i mean a lot of defense percent so if you look i'm running two piece noble two piece archaic petra for the damage this is crit rate, crit damage, 21% defense, energy recharge. Then you look right here, energy recharge, 18% defense, crit damage, defense, base. Like, it's just so perfect. This would be really bad on anyone else. Then, if you look right here, defense main stat, crit damage, crit rate, and then has HP base, energy recharge. I do have another piece that's a really good defense piece, being right here, that has uh, energy recharge, attack, crit rate, crit damage. But, you gotta realize... Um, they're two different sets, and I needed two Archaic Petra pieces, so I opted to go with uh, this right here. So, that's why I did that. Anyway, moving on, uh, Geo Damage Cup rolled 20% defense. I'm telling, I, I, I don't know how it happened, but it's crazy. So, there you go, and then the headpiece is just Crit Damage, Crit Rate, Energy Recharge, Attack, Elemental Mastery. Uh, just really good overall piece. 
So there's that. If you look at constellations, I have none. If you look at talents, 676. Six. And the only reason why his talents are not maxed is simply because he requires the same material that Zhongli requires um, and the same books that Venti require. And if you look at my Venti, 699, and then you look at my Zhongli, 61213. So uh, he kind of had to be the third slot on maxing out talents but i am going to start maxing them now simply because um i do have venti and zhongli done so that is my albedo build and everything like that now before we get into the boss fight check out this video from today's sponsor Once again, big shout out to Ewin Racing for sponsoring this video. Guys, I can't tell y'all how amazing this chair is. From the back pillow to the neck pillow to the recline feature. It's all just amazing. Uh, between this chair and my last chair, it's like worlds apart how good this chair is. You guys should check out the link in the description and put in code DSG30 for 30% off gaming chairs. Once again, thank you Ewan Racing for sponsoring this video and let's get back into the content. Now going through all of the bosses in the game and stuff like that wouldn't really show how good Albedo is and the reason why is because number one, his E, uh, if it's a big boss, the E will just disappear. Pretty much like a Zhongli pillar, if you put it down in the middle of the boss, the boss will just make it disappear. So for a lot of these bosses, he doesn't work really well as far as his E ability. Now, you can obviously still ult, and this ult will do good damage. But, um, you know, Devalin or looking at Wolf Boss, or even if you look at uh, the new Pr Primo Geo Vishap, all of those bosses are too big, and they will break his E ability. He works a lot better whenever it's a swarm of enemies or smaller enemies. So, the best thing for us to do to showcase him is to go to the child boss fight. So, this is the team I'm taking. He works a lot better with an auto attack oriented character. Um, his E will proc off of pretty much anything, right? Venti ult, Zhongli ult, uh, Zhongli pillar. It pretty much, you know, procs off of anything. But, if you have a character that can consistently do DPS, that means the window in which each transient blossom procking um, will be a lot smaller than, let's say, oh, well, let me wait for Zhongli's ult to proc transient blossoms. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this, and I'm going to show you guys just how good his E is. It does hit for good damage. Like I said, it's a really good uh, support. Break his shield. As you can see, 10,000 there. Procs again. It didn't crit there. I don't know how, but procs right there. Break your shield. Again, 12,000 right there. And it's just going to proc over and over. And not only does it proc over and over, you can drop it again to uh, do damage, number one. Number two, it's generating energy for Albedo and Zhongli. It's just a super, super good kit. Or super good weapon, anyway. And a lot of people definitely take it for uh, granted how good his uh, Transient Blossom proc is. Keep in mind the Transient Blossom is AoE. So if you do have a swarm of enemies, he's going to be hitting all of those enemies with the Transient Blossom procs. So, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and get into the last part of this. Thirty thousand, really good damage. 
And keep in mind, the ta like I said, the talents aren't even maxed. So just imagine how good the damage would be if the talents were maxed. So, there it is. That is the Albedo build. And like I said, you can run him uh, with the three-star weapon. If I switch to the three-star weapon, he doesn't lose any defense, right? So you go here. You'll look. Uh, his attack goes down. That's because the weapon, the, the weapon giving attack, but his defense stays the same. So the percentage at which this is proccing stays the same. So for anyone that wants to run him as a free-to-play player, he's really easy to build. One of the more free-to-play units, simply because his best like free-to-play option is a three-star weapon. Number one, number two. All of his artifacts, well, you want them to roll defense, which I know a lot of y'all got some artifacts that have rolled defense. And then you don't need any constellations for him to work. And as you can see, even with, you know, minimal talent investment, you know, 676, six, he's dishing out, what, 32,000 ult damage. Um, but that's with the five-star weapon. Even still, is, with the three-star weapon, he's dishing out, what, 20k, 25k, something like that. And then uh, his E is still dishing out a lot of damage as well. So there you guys go. That is my Albedo. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys see in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.